Thanks for showing up to watch this video. These videos are a kind of old hat from my Patreon site, but they're now released to the public, so I hope you find them helpful, and if you do, please like and share them. For the latest, newest daily readings, affirmations, every day, for lessons on how to read tarot, how to enhance your own psychic abilities, to have magical healing gemstones sent to your house every month that angels picked out for you, please check out my site, patreon.com slash terribly accurate. Let's get right to the video then. Hi Patreon! Thanks for showing up to watch your video on how to read tarot cards. Today we're doing swords and pentacles as promised. So, um, swords. They indicate thoughts, action, logic, um, change, sometimes force, sometimes violence, power, oppression, ambition, for sure, um, courage, and intellect, you know, because intellect goes along so much with our thoughts. Um, it could be our attitudes, our beliefs, and they're associated to the air signs. So that would be Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Um, sometimes they can indicate anxiety. Sometimes they indicate conflict. But because, you know, the main point here is thoughts, right? Our intellect. Um, so clarity, did I already say that? <laughs> um, okay. Stubbornness, um, concentration goes along with thought, anxiety, I think I might have said, worry, worry for sure, our attention, you know, because it's such a mental suit, um, doubt as well. Um, so that's when they're upright, okay? When they are reversed, they can mean anger, guilt, judgment, um, writer's block, like lack of thought or clarity, could be confusion, even though our number one confusion card is um, the seven of cups, but that's like emotional confusion, um, like not knowing where to put our emotions or how to sort through them, needing maybe a swords card to help us get through it. Hesitation is another one. Could be verbal abuse, um, mental abuse, lack of compassion, you know, not feeling, being more head focused than heart focused. So, um, swords are always about thought. Sometimes they are about honesty or dishonesty. Sometimes they're definitely about communication, talking, right? Sharing our thoughts. Um, they're about. What did I want to say? I totally lost it. Damn ADD. I need more swords cards in my life. <laughs> um, okay. So, like, for example, with the two of swords, it's about decisions, you know, having to make one. Um, looking at things, like when I talked about swords, meaning truth, like your mental, logical truth on scenario, like observing things. Um, like in this one, she can't see the truth. There are things that she doesn't want to look at, thoughts she doesn't want to address. Um, swords can also indicate pain, right? Like I said, with the king of swords, for example, a very powerful person, he's more powerful. I wonder if he's in here. Yeah. Okay. He's more powerful, for example, than would be, um, the king of wands, because a sword is much more powerful than would be a wand. A wand you could hit somebody with, but a sword you would kill them, right? You'd slice right through them. So um, slicing through bullshit, like with the queen of swords, um, this is, that's, and that's why I said, you know, sometimes swords are about force, right? How they can be a little bit violent. But swords are always thoughts. They're always mental communications or logic. Um, as I said, they can be about pain, you know, swords hurt and the truth hurts, doesn't it? Um, this is like needing to take a break from your thoughts. This is, you know, communicating, speaking your truth, even though it's fatiguing, it's hard to tell the truth. <laughs> um, this is being too much up in your head, not being able to sleep, anxiety, worry, so I hope that kind of clears it up for you what swords indicate. Now, 
um, just as a general overview. Next week we'll get into, um, we can either do the major arcana or we can go one by one through each of the suits. So if you want to leave a comment below and let me know what you're thinking, what your preferences would be, um, I'm totally amenable to that. Um, so pentacles. Pentacles are about day-to-day -day energy. They're also about money. They're also about jobs. So like with this one, he is having a um, difficult time with his emotions. You see how the water there, like we talked about last week, is wavy um, as he's trying to balance out his responsibilities. You know, coins generally, um, they can also be called discs sometimes, are about money, job, your home, the day-to-day -day stuff, school, um, future planning is a big one with pentacles practicality, business, material things like material items because it is associated to money, um, property, your general prosperity, like I said, planning for the future, um, proof, realization, uh, manifestation, because a lot of us try to manifest money, right? It could be about your ego because some of us put our self-worth um, based on how much we have, right? Um, your self-esteem, stability, feelings of security. Um, it's related to earth signs, right? Oh, and also our values. So earth signs would be Capricorn, Taurus. Uh, what's the other one? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo. So um, it could also be about details too. Now, when they're in the reversed position, um, it could be about possessiveness, greediness, being overly materialistic, could mean you're not good with finances, you could be overindulgent, um, things are just not going as planned because this is about planning, right? So for example, we talked about this one, um, this is about being generous. You see how he's trying to make sure that things are fair with the scales there? So this is about generosity. Um, Long-term planning, this guy's retired, he's got his dogs, his kids are over here doing their own thing. You know, tens are about coming to the completion of a cycle. So, you know, he's done his life work and now he's ready to just kind of chill out and relax. This one I always read different than everyone. I don't know why I put that one in there. Um, waiting for things to pay off, you know, um, going along with their plans, making investments. Same thing with this one here. It's just a different representation of the same card, you know. It's um, planning, planting seeds, taking steps, investing in your future and then just waiting for things to um, to pay off for you. So it's like going to a job and getting a paycheck two weeks later. So I hope that's helpful. Um, there's a lot of, there's so much to learn about tarot. So we're just going to keep going and going and going with this. Uh, but let me know what your preference is. I'll give you a few options in the description box or um, the comment area and you can let me know what you'd like to learn next. All right. Mwah. See you.